Amy Van and welcome to the RV Cooking Show. We have a terrific episode for you today. My Norcold RV refrigerator continues to serve me well even after 10 plus years of full-time RVing. We recently had an opportunity to visit the Norcold RV refrigerator plant and found the process extremely cool. So come on, join me. Let's see how these RV refrigerators are made. Here we are at Norcold, the only RV refrigerator manufacturer that's American owned. With nearly 220 employees, millions of Norcold RV refrigerators have been engineered, designed, tested and built right here in Sydney, Ohio. Are you ready to take a tour of the plant? We begin in the tubing facility, and this is where tubes for the cooling units arrive. There's quite a bit of variation in the thickness and the smoothness of the piping. Here they're washed and prepared, then cut to spec and sent to Norcold's sister factory in Gettysburg, Ohio, where the cooling units will be built. These cooling units have over 50 welds and several bends, a real work of art. Let's head over to the main manufacturing plant. You can see this is a large and modern facility and this is where it all happens. Let's start at the fin station. You'll recognize these fins from the inside of your refrigerator compartment. It takes 51 seconds to create a fin and Norcold's fins are folded rather than extruded. Here's where they form the high impact polystyrene liner. The shiny coating is a one four thousandths of an inch coating that retards staining from things like mustard on the inside of your RV refrigerator. Once formed, the liners go to the Robotrim station where they're trimmed by futuristic robots. By the way, the liners are made of 70% new material and 30% regrind from the trimmings. Norcold makes a number of sizes of RV refrigerators from a two cubic foot model all the way up to a four door 17 cubic foot model. I have the six cubic foot fridge in my RV, but the inside is actually 6.3 cubic feet, making it the largest six cubic foot model in the industry. Next, we'll head over to the station where they're putting together their refrigerator and freezer doors, putting on the seals and sending them over to the door insulation station. Here they'll shoot them with urethane foam and put them through the machine to set the foam. When they come out, they'll go through a quality control process. The doors are a magnet to magnet seal. You can see the magnets going on here and then the frame is attached to the liner. On the production line, the evaporative plate goes into the freezer compartment, wiring and other components are added and the liner is getting prepared to become a refrigerator cabinet. Indeed, this shiny box will soon become a full-fledged RV refrigerator in the next step. The cabinet goes into PLC controlled molds. Urethane foam is shot into the cabinet on the other side. And by the way, they tell me there's a real art to foaming. The cabinet will remain in the mold for an exact amount of time, allowing the foam to fully expand and cure before the cabinet is released. In another area of the factory, they're prepping the cooling unit to be attached to the cabinet, fin and all. On goes the cooling unit, which by the way, can be replaced on its own as opposed to buying a whole new refrigerator if need be. As it passes down the line, the temperature control unit is mounted in a spot that's easy to reach regardless of where the RV refrigerator is in your rig. Ergonomics are extremely important at the Norcold plant. They believe the person doing the job is the smartest person at that job. The positions are frequently rotated, with some positions rotating every two hours, others rotating each break period, and yet others rotating daily. This helps keep interest high with the staff and also provides for important cross-training. The hinges for the door go on next, and then comes the RV refrigerator light, which by the way is controlled by the door's magnetic seal. The shelves are put into the freezer and fridge compartments and then a plastic strip is screwed on. I always thought it was so the shelves didn't come out when you were driving, but it turns out the refrigerator has a mechanical latch and this strip is really all about preventing child entrapment. The doors are put on the RV refrigerator and note is the RV manufacturer that adds those decorative front panels to the fridge. 
Hmm. Behind the line, they build many of the extras like additional fans and ice makers. Next up is a super cool photo check. With over 100 refrigerator configurations, this laser photo check will match the scanned barcode to the actual refrigerator configuration, making sure it's been built to spec. Last on the line, the refrigerator gets an electric and propane check. I'm here with Eric Klein, engineering manager at Norcold's Engineering Test Lab. We're going to check it out and see what you do here. Hi, Eric. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing great. Thank you for having us. What happens here in the test lab? This test facility here, we actually test all our refrigerators to all our standards that we have for the refrigeration industry for the RV market to make sure that they're actually meeting the standards and exceeding them. And the standards are cold, cold, and colder. That's usually what we try to hit. We are uh, known in the industry for being the coldest refrigerator out there, and we validate our testing uh, every week on units that are being built, as well as any new units that are coming down the production line. Well, this is our uh, one of our two test rooms that we have. Luckily, this is only at 90 degrees today. Only 90 degrees today. What it does is it allows us to see that the refrigerator is performing adequately and making sure that we're meeting and beating the industry standards that we're set. How about ice cream? I want to know where is the best place to put my pint of ice cream in my Norcold freezer? Though this is on test, I will show you. Uh, the wires actually are for the audit testing, but for ice cream in the freezer section, you actually want to be in the back left-hand corner of the freezer. That gives you the best contact and actually the coldest spot of the refrigerator to ensure that you have nice rock hard ice cream. Just like I like it. Me too. The RV refrigerators are boxed up and ready to ship. What an interesting tour. Fun stuff. I hope you enjoyed the tour as much as I did. You can learn more about Norcold RV refrigerators on my website at www.rvcookingshow.com and like us on Facebook. Thanks so much. We appreciate your spending time with us and we'll see you next time right here on the RV Cooking Show.